One of our greatest feelings of success around now is around uh, work that we've been doing for the last four or five years around research support. Um, because at many research-oriented universities, the acquisition and purchase and commitment of large computing resources is kind of, to use a technical term, a hot mess because it's really badly done. And yet all the R1s in the country make massive purchases of research computing all the time. And what we've managed to do at Purdue, I'm particularly proud, proud of, is find a business model that encourages our faculty to invest in a central facility, one that they can opt out of at any time. Um, we now, I would say, have 90% of the funded researchers on our campus are using our model. None have left over the six years of the thing. And each year we build a supercomputer now that's ranked in the, in the top 500 and for the last two years has been ranked in the top 100. And uh, I will tell you that before we started this program, Purdue had never, uh, in living memory, had a machine large enough to be ranked in that way. So we're quite, we're quite pleased with that. And what that shows is the institution can reimagine itself and go down a new path that experts, so-called, confidently predicted, would not be sustainable. Uh, and not only do the faculty embrace it, at no additional cost to the institution at all. It really is a kind of a loaves and fishes story. We just take what the community were already buying, we leverage it. So trying to find novel business models is one of the things I'm most proud of uh, and uh, we've been quite successful with. <laughs>